G'day, welcome back to The Forge. Today I'm doing challenge three of the Warp Blacksmith Challenge. It's raining outside, which means I can forge, which is awesome. The challenge is apocalyptic weapon. Now I've been racking my brain and work something out. I don't want it to look medieval, I want it to look futuristic. So if this was just uh, all about getting some old bits and pieces and making something lethal that looked old school, new school and uh, futuristic and post-apocalyptic, this would be easy, but we've got to forge this. It's a blacksmith challenge. So this is what I'm going to try and work to. Um, I'm basically going to use a saw blade, which it's a bit of a given. I've got heaps of them. And um, anything apocalyptic had to have survived an apocalypse. So it's futuristic. It's got to be sort of current, I guess. So there's got to be some parts that are identifiable. So definitely going to be using the blade. Let's just see what happens. That's a pretty gnarly looking blade. We'll um, do some work with it in the forge because it is a forge challenge. Um, but there's a bit of modern, so we can work with that. Uh, yes, I knew I had a Conrod kicking around somewhere. Awesome. We'll work that in as the head. We'll do some forging on that. And um, I just got to work out what I'm going to do with the handle. A nice bit of wood would be cool. Well, let's see what we can find. decided to do is the little end of that conrod decided to beat it out and that can be a blade at the back of my weapon so it will get sharpened up and then we'll work on fitting the big end onto the blade Well, that's time, and the sun's just come out. But, um, I'm not happy with the amount of forging that I've done on this yet, so I have to get a little bit more creative and uh, forge some more bits and pieces. Well, I'd definitely call that um, fitting the bill. But like I said, I'm not happy with the amount of forging I've done. So we need to get a little bit more adventurous. So I've decided to solve my forging dilemma, or my lack of, I'm gonna make the handle out of steel instead of wood. And you know what's gonna be plentiful post-apocalypse? Rebar. 
There's going to be tons of it sticking out of the ground where the buildings used to be. Perfect. Finally got it to where I'm happy with it. it wasn't the easiest challenge I've done. But, um, she certainly will kill. Did somebody say what? This summer, a movie like no other hit the screens and take you far beyond the wastelands of the West. There was man against man, and only the strong survived. In a land of ash and dust storms, only one man, only one man in the post-apocalyptic wasteland after the war of 2222. Land of fire, ash, and destruction. Only one man stand against the coal pinchers, and that man 